Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It's the week of August 3rd, 2017. I'm Brandon Zeck. And I'm Deborah Roberts. And we're here in your studio. Yes, here in Austin, Texas. So, number five. In uh, Dallas Fort Worth at the Meadows Museum. It is a great show featuring the works of Diego Rivera and Picasso. And it talks about the relationship, the contentious relationship they have with artists, the push and pull. And it's kind of a small show as well. This isn't like any big blockbuster thing. I think it's like five or six works. Yes. Um, and it's based around research that one of the Meadows curators has been doing about one of their Picasso paintings. So it's gonna be a nice tight little grouping of similarities between two of the greatest artists of the 20th century. Number four this week is Julie Speed excerpts from the Undertoad at the Lise Hopkins Underwood Center for the Arts. Uh, this is in Lubbock and the show uh, Undertoad, the show traveled to a bunch of different institutions around Texas. It was in McAllen, it was in San Antonio, uh, an iteration was here at Flatbed Press and now it's in the Panhandle. Right, Julie Speed is a wonderful artist. If you haven't seen her work, you really should look it up. On the website, there's a wonderful video of her creating one of her collages. You go through the process, it's very quick, very short, but it's wonderful to see how she creates these wonderful works. Number three is Juan Mora, and he's at McNay Museum in San Antonio, and he has a wonderful show up called uh, Culture Clash. And it is a very political show, but it also features works from 2010 to 2012 and these are lino cuts uh, on paper and they're wonderfully done um just the line work alone is just superb yeah he's uh, been a fixture in the san antonio art scene for a little while i believe he got his mfa at utsa and now he teaches printmaking at mm -hmm. utsa mm -hmm. number two this week i'm so excited about this pick it's <laughs> yes. at g spot gallery it's m kelly olson um these are ink and colored pencil works that right. are uh, very op art, very M.C. Escher meets architecture, Frank Lloyd Wright inspired. This is wonderful work and he has an interesting background. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah, he was uh, for 30 years a federal criminal investigator for the Department of Defense, a world traveler. Right, and right. A, a show that reflects it. Number one is Sarabi Saraf, and she's at the Bland Museum right now. Mm -hmm. This is this is actually just one work. It's a video piece. Uh, when the Blanton reinstalled their entire permanent collection, they created a little screening room dedicated to video works from their collection. But this show, this video in particular, is amazing. It's very it's very kind of captivating and very op art because all of these, what someone like ninety six. Yes. Uh, small panels are synchronized and then they kind of, the, the more you watch them, it's a seven minute video, the more you watch them, they become unsynchronized. I loved it. I thought it was amazing. You have something in Austin though, right? Yes, my show is still up at the Christian Green Gallery on the campus of the University of Texas and it's going to be up for one more week and uh, yeah, go out and see it. It's called Nobody's Darling. Go see some art. Yeah, go buy some art.